Hey there, boys, girls, and squirrels. My name is Mozdam. Welcome back to Minecraft Arena. So, I fully anticipated having this whole thing in a video as far as filling up is concerned, but it was, it was just too much. Like, I filled up, like, a little segment here, and it took me, like, an hour. And I was like, I'm over it. I'm done. And so now... I have, what is it, World Edit, uh, th that mod where you can use the pickaxe and auto-fill things because, oh, baby boy. Anywho, so, that being said, I'm not entirely sure how it works on a grand scale of things, but what I do want to do here is, let's, let's figure this out. So we got, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 16. Let's try 16. Let's just come down this way. I think that's good. I think that's good. And I think what we'll do is 16 on each side. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Golden. Look at us go. Look at us go. And now the ultimate test begins because the build that I am doing doesn't, as far as I'm aware of, doesn't use these. I don't think. Now, once again, it will be kind of to my own specification. But if I were to build this guy, what I would do is assume that the wall comes straight down and you go up to about here and it goes straight over. But I think, well, oh, I forgot to fill one in. Uh, but, oh, rain. Every time I talk in this game. Okay, get out of here, Rain. I'm sick of your crap. Anyways, I think what I might try to do is just try to actually utilize this full area, and we'll figure it out. Um, so what I want to do is come over here. We just want to build a wall. Now, I got to remember how everything goes, though. Are you on this one? No, one more, one more, one more, one more. Now, let's see if I can do this right, okay? Let's see if I can do this right. Now you left click one to start it and then you right click to end it. Hopefully hopefully I filled it in right. And then you do backslash backslash set. And then you use the name of said block. In our case it's end underscore stone underscore blocks. No! What did I mess up? Okay, okay. I got this. In stone block maybe? Oh, what did I do? I gotta rem Okay. Okay, I flubbered it up. I'm gonna figure out <laughs> which uh, editing tool or phrase it is. And I'll be back in just a second. Oh, in stone brick. All right, I'm back. I don't know if I actually even jump cut it because I figured it out right away. I kept saying in stone block or blocks, but it's in stone bricks. Look at that. Look at how much faster that is. Look at how little I had to do. <laughs> I love it so much. And then basically, we're going to take that all the way over to the other side as well. I'm not going to count this off. Just that way I make sure I get it right. So you got the edge and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11 from that edge. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. I love it. I love it so much. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. Now I'm going to... I'll probably... Now that I've kind of counted it off and given you guys kind of an idea of what we're looking at here... Um, I think what I'll do is I'll jump cut until we get this all taken care of and maximized. All right, so we got the kind of the floor plans taken care of. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up. Um, I have to figure out exactly how tall I want to raise it. But I'm going to go ahead and raise this guy up so that it's above these flags. So that the roof line is kind of dead even with these flags or, or thereabouts. Um, and then there's going to be some texturing and things like that going on. But what I want to do is figure out how tall that's going to be. Now, I have to remember, I know there was a, um, a quote-unquote fill option, I think, for, um, for this, uh, like, world editor mod, but the one thing that I'm, 
slightly concerned about is I don't know it because like I'm brand spanking new to this whole world um, editor mod and so there's none of the like I guess phrases and things like that that I'm very familiar with but that being said I will do it to the best of my abilities all right so I think that's gonna be the right height we'll actually go just a based off what I'm seeing here we'll keep it at this specific height um, at least for the time being and then what I can do is um, I can always raise the roof and everything like that because there are multiple um, different levels above this just cut oh big boy oh big boy sick of your rainy rainness now if I do left here can I just do the set and right here Can I do set in? <gasps> yes! Oh, that makes it so much easier! <laughs> I love it! So here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, because this is just going to be a filler, I'm going to get this all taken care of. We're going to get it all filled up nice and pretty full. And then I will be back once we get that taken care of, and then we'll worry about the whole texturing and everything else out, out after that. All right, friends. We have officially made it now there's a couple things i i have each of these guys on the corners kind of i left them proud um and tall because well we're gonna build up from there so i'm not too concerned about it but i did put this guy in the middle here just to symbolize like the actual overall build height for minecraft now i really 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 don't think we're gonna get there but better safe than sorry so what i want to take care of first is i know there's a couple um just behind these guys there's actually a couple like rounded off segments in this particular build and i want those segments to match up here now the nice thing these don't have windows like these don't have windows at all so i don't have to worry about making them look aesthetically good for that but i do want to give um I want to give myself at least, what is it, six? One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to give myself at least a six point walkway around it. Now, these are rounded slightly larger than the ones here. So, what I'll do is I will go how many? One, two, three. Okay, so I got seven wide here. And then what we'll do is go here. Yeah. I like doing these like little inserts on the sides there because I just think it makes sense. Now, that looks a little bit more diagonal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust it. I need it to go back into the wall a little bit quicker than it was. So what we'll do is I will adjust the um, framing on this guy a little bit here and then we will uh, figure it out once we get to all right friends so we have one side officially taken care of and, I, and i'm liking it i know it's not perfect and i know i can make improvements but it needs to be like a thicker looking kind of banner or like banister excuse me so it's going to be holding up a floor just above it and it's going to be raised up over the roof here um but i think that's going to do the trick now i know there is a copy and paste option with world edit however i ain't no good at that so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this guy squared away. I'm going to make a second one over here. Um, I'm liking how it looks, but we'll see how it looks once everything is taken care of in regards to this. And we will see you guys when we get that taken care of. I love World Edit so much. Oh my gosh, it saved me so much time. It is un flipping believable. All right. And we have, <clears throat> excuse me, both of them up. So on the left side here, I went ahead and got rid of the three and I made it a solitary one down the middle. And I have this guy here left as a third. Now, my question for you guys is, which one do you like more? And which which one would you rather see me continue the style of uh, throughout this project here? Um, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below because I am genuinely curious. I like the simplicity of this one. And it does open it up down here for a walkway. But I think this might look a little bit more rounded or at least as rounded as you can get in Minecraft. But we will... Uh, We'll worry about that once the uh, the time comes. So I think our next project here is going to be taking these acacia um, slabs and essentially, oh yeah, that's right. Cause we got to get the undercut. Uh, let's see if I still have one in there. No, we got to get slab. Um, and we did sandstone slabs. So what we got to do is we have to, fortunately these guys, um, they're just going to be rounded off at the next tier up. So I don't have to worry about it. But these guys here, I need to get these slabs taken care of and kind of have them 
put across the whole barrier of this because that's the nature of how things are going. And so, yeah, because we have that undercut that we had going on, which is where we actually start the <clears throat> acacia stairs because it just, frankly, looks a little bit nicer. Now, I got a little carried away and forgot to put the stairs on each of these corners. By the way, guys, have I mentioned yet that uh, I love, love world edit yet? I may or may not have. I don't know. You guys tell me. But I don't have to hardly do any of the like monotonous work I just have to kind of create I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because I feel like it might might have taken you know some of the fun off of the idea of kind of building in Minecraft but it just it allows me to be completely creative now I might have to inlay this a little bit nicer I'm not sure I know there's a little banister here but I know these also line up well. Um, so there's like a little walkway or a little banister here. I might have to kind of be creative in how I want that to happen. But we'll live the dream. Okay. So I'm going to get these on each of the corners. And then we're going to... Um, yeah, we're going to try to use world edit. Now I believe I can just do acacia stairs. And it should auto fill for me. And to test that theory, um, we're just going to left click here. And we're going to right click over there and should be able to do the set acacia stairs and it should take it across that top level now i gotta remember i i gotta make sure i spell this right and then we have acacia stairs oops did I, acacia did i do it right acacia Oh, I wonder if they have a different uh, content ID. Acacia stairs. Ah, maybe I spelt it wrong. I don't know, but we'll figure that out in a minute. Let's get this weather to clear. Now, I know sandstone slab. Mm, I might have to figure out what the... Um, let me check here to see if this works. I might have to try to figure out what the block ID for each of these guys is real quick before I get too carried away. But this should hopefully do it. What is it? Sandstone slab. Okay. What? No. Oh, bummer. There were unused augments. Slab. So, dang it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just place this off camera because I'm not super familiar with how the functionality of world edit is, at least in its current current state. So what I will do is I will just place these all by hand. I know, that's right. We'll live the dream and then we'll we'll make we'll make it happen. I'll do this all off camera that way you guys don't have to worry about it. So I will see you guys when we get these stairs taken care of. All right. So although I wasn't able to use the slabs or the stairs to um with world edit I was able to do you know copy over a row of slabs here which made it significantly easier so what I would do is I would you know do the left click to initiate where you wanted the world edit to start I would place the slabs down to kind of follow that around and then right click at the end put the command in to fill that in with in stone slabs and then I just got real close to it like this that way as I'm right clicking there's no way I can accidentally put like a staircase over top Kind of like that so if i were to do something like that it could it could tailor out but anyways that's what i was able to do with world edit so even the, even though it's not uh not to able to do what i thought or was hoping it would be able to do it did save me a lot a lot of time and so what we're going to do is we're going to continue to raise these guys up oh i forgot i put this one so high <laughs> We're going to continue to raise those guys up one at a time, and we will be back once we get three tall when it comes to the acacia stairs, because that's what we did on the other stairs around, and we want to keep it as consistent as possible without going too extravagant. So with all that in mind and all the rambling aside um, that I seem to like to do, um, we are going to take care of that off camera. That way you guys don't have experienced the monotony that is placing blocks all day, and we... We'll see you when we get there. And we have the uh, 
We have the roof kind of around the uh, the whole building, at least that uh, second tiered portion of it. Now, from what I can tell from the picture, it looks like there's also kind of a walkway here um, off to the side. I can't quite tell for certain, but at the very least, there's some lighting up there, which you would need to have flattened out so you can do maintenance and things like that. Um, but the next portion of the build here, essentially what it's going to do... I don't even know. That's so off-centered. I don't know why I chose to use that one. You'd think I'd go over at least one more. Make it look a little nicer. Now, the next portion of the building, essentially what it does is um, you come up from here. Now, it looks like it's roughly half the height distance between this. So, it's about half as tall as this, and it comes up, and then you have a little bit of a platform. So, I think what I want to try to do is at least get that platform taken care of um, in this particular build. It might be a shorter episode, but I, what I will say is I have been recording for quite some time, so I want to try to get that portion taken care of, and then I will worry about the rest later. So, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and at least get that portion started. That way, we can get a feel um, for what we're looking at, and try to maybe build the peak up here. That way, we can finish the outside structure today as far as shape is concerned and then we can worry about the rest at a later date so i'm going to go ahead and get that third uh, essentially so you have the first tier second tier there's going to be a third tier and on the very top fourth tier there's going to be some stuff going on so uh, we'll do that uh, and then we'll come back for you guys all right team we have returned and i have got the shape of the exterior taken care of i have none of the detailing on any of the stuff above the first floor detailed at all so that's something we're going to have to experiment with in the future but i do have the rough shape done so let's go ahead and give you guys a quick run through of what we got going on here now i know it's not perfect because it's not a perfect square it is a little oblong um but we have this section here which i think we're going to frame with fences and make a little walkway put a little garden things like that on top um, and then we have this section over here, which we're going to do the same with as well as that second tier little area as well for people to run around in. Um, and then we jump up to this section. Now, most of these bricks, I think I'm going to change color once we get to this second tier, because at least from what I can see in the build itself, it seems to darken up a touch here. So maybe, I don't know, it might be too contrasted to go with, um, to go with like a stone bricks, but we'll figure it out. We're still on the debate of whether you want the singular pillar or the triple pillar here to make it look a little more rounded. Um, but you have this little section here, which is kind of fenced off. I didn't put any fences on here quite yet uh, because there's some torches and things like that. So there's some troubleshooting that I'm going to have to do to figure out how I want that to look. And there's going to be a couple banners and things like that up here. And the, there'll be like a little banner here as well. And you come up to this section. Now, it's a little bit longer than I was hoping. I was hoping it would be a touch more square. That way we could make it look nice. But there is a bell that goes in this region of this category. Kind of at the pinnacle of the castle, so to speak. And then we come up to here. Which is where everything kind of comes to its peak. Now, a little bit of a bummer here because it wasn't squared. I wasn't able to really make that peak super, super, super tall. But I was able to kind of get the gist of it down. And we have like a little pointer, a little peak right at the top here. But that's what we're looking at for build currently i am excited to see how that's going to look uh once we get all the extra detailing and things like that i will say this is probably the biggest build i've done in minecraft ever thanks to world edit i am able to just do that and that's also going to help this whole road section get taken care of because we'll just be able to square it away also there's the my house build which is uh, kitty corner over here but we are 20 blocks short of the build height in minecraft now i do have this um I did use World Painter to put the main ground right here. I brought that to, I think it was 70. So we're not total bedrock to biggest, tallest point. But this is pretty synonymous of what most worlds are going to start on is about 70 um, blocks thick. So we'll have to keep that in mind as we continue to do things. But is what it is. Uh, it's coming together nicely. Now, I'm super excited to get the detailing around the outside taken care of. And then once we get that squared away, we're going to be able to uh, really work with uh, everything here. Now, I might go ahead and raise these one more tall just because they don't seem to look very... Um, it doesn't look quite as deep as here, although they are both three blocks deep. So you have one, two, three. They're both exactly the same depth, but because that guy's so much taller, um, I might have to go ahead and raise it up to four. But I mean, that being said, it's been a fairly short episode for you guys, but I've been at it for quite some time now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. 
As always, remember liking, commenting, and subscribing are great tools for you to get in touch with me. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, and what you want to see next. And without further ado, I'm going to shut my filthy little cake hole. We are getting closer and closer every time I speak to that 100 subscriber threshold, which I am excited about and I'm stoked for. So, please feel free to share it around. Get to that 100 subscribers so we can get to that giveaway for you guys. But without further ado, I'm going to shut my filthy little cake hole. I love you guys, and we will see you next time. Toodles! Whoosh!